So, um, ladies, whoa, ladies and gentlemen, what I have here is I have a quadrilateral. And this quadrilateral, I am going to tell you, is going to be a square. Okay. Here is going to be a pentagon, right? It has five sides. And I'm going to call this a regular pentagon. What that means, we'll talk about this more later, regular pentagon, all the angles and all the sides are going to be equal in measure. Okay? We'll talk about more of that later. But just understand, every angle is supposed to be equal in that. And this is not a polygon, but this is a circle. But this is what I'm going to use kind of to prove, to show my point. All right? So a circle is not a polygon. Um, there's no angles or sides that we have inside of there. <clears throat> I'm going to use this at my point. So ladies and gentlemen, let's first go back to our interior sum theorem. Remember, <clears throat> to find the sum of a quadrilateral, I have to do n minus 2 times 180 degrees, where n represents the number of sides. So since we have four sides, this, the sum of my interior angles, is going to be 4 minus 2 times 180, which is going to be 2 times 180 which is 360 degrees. For that's for the sum of the interior. All right? Now, I'll do, the, I'll do a pentagon a little bit harder, or a little bit quicker. Um, here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. So I have 3 times 180. So that's going to be 540 degrees. OK? Now, ladies and gentlemen, if I have 540 degrees, I, how many angles do I have in here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So therefore, I need to kind of see, determine what each the measure of each one of these angles are, because they're all the same. So what I'll do is I'll take 540, and I'll divide that by 5. And I get 108. So that means each one of these angles is 108 degrees. And obviously, ladies and gentlemen, if you look at these, I already tell you these are 90 degrees. But if you take 360 and divide it by 4, you're going to get 90 degrees. All right. So now what we're going to do is um, just put it on the desk right there. You can just join a group. So now what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we talked about what is the sum of the interior angles, right? And we are able to figure out the sum of the interior angles is 360 for a quadrilateral, and it's 540 degrees for a pentagon. That's the sum of the interior. But what about the exterior? So to determine the exterior, what we're going to do is if you extend a side length of your polygon, we can, <coughs> we can go and determine the sum of all the angles of an exterior, um, the exterior angles of a polygon. So if I extend these angles, okay. So now let's go ahead and use um, some of our ideas on what we're going to uh, be able to figure out. Now, Taylor, you're just joining in. If this is 90 degrees, what would you assume this angle has to be? And why would you say that that angle has to be 90 degrees as well? What definition would you say that's because? Not complementary, but supplementary. And why are they supplementary? Do you know why they're supplementary? You're all right. Because they make a straight line. So therefore, we'd call these two angles a linear pair because they would share the same side and vertex. And yes, two lines that make up a straight line <coughs> that are adjacent, we call a linear pair, which are supplementary. So therefore, I can say that's 90 degrees. Right? And then what do you think about that one? 90. This one? This one? So now, if I go ahead and add up all of those angles in orange, what would be the sum of the exterior? Taylor? Right, which is 180, 90, close. Well, 90 
plus 90 is 180. 90 plus 90 is 180. So it's 180 times 2, which is 360. So guess what? When you have the sum of the exterior angles of a quadrilateral, that's equal to the sum of the interior angles. That's pretty cool, right? Kind of, maybe, a little bit. <coughs> so therefore, let's see then if this, the sum of these exterior angles, is equal to 540. All right? So we have 108. So if this is 108, Elizabeth, what would you say that this has to be? If this is 108 degrees, what would you think that these two? Yes, Zeth? 72. 72. And why would you say that's 72? You're correct. Because that has to add up 180. Why? Because they're supplementary. Why are they supplementary? Because it makes a straight line. So <clears throat> what two angles make up a straight line that are, we call supplementary that are adjacent? A linear pair. Very good. So that's 72 degrees. Now remember, all these angles are equal. So what would you say this one is? 72. 72, 72, and 72, all right? So let's go and add up then all of these. So I have one, two, three, four, five angles that are 72 degrees. So 72 times five. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> five times 72 degrees equals 360 degrees. So what I'd like you guys to understand from this is that the sum of the interior angles is always going to be the number of sides minus 2 times 180. However, the sum of all the exterior angles is always going to equal 360. All right? And that, again, brings us to our points. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, if you have indefinite number of sides, like a circle, does anybody know what is the, um, all the angle degree measure of a circle? Does anybody know what a circle? Yep. Uh, well, it's not the degree measure is not going to be there, but w the angle measure of a circle, yes? <coughs> not exactly. Pi is going to be used to help us with the uh, radius in our diameter, yes? The number of sides, you have like an infinite many sides, because it doesn't really contain the sides. Yep. Huh? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me put it to you this way. Let's pretend you have, because a circle is a set of points. But let's pretend you had sides. Right? Let's pretend there are sides that we increased indefinitely. What do you think the, what do you think the sum of all those sides would be? Yes? 360. Very good. Okay, So when we get into circles, you guys hopefully will understand that the circle, the degree measure in a circle, is going to be 360 degrees over as well. OK? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'll give you guys 